Hey, welcome back to Bob's Two Car Garage. It's always a pleasure. Now, the last few weeks, we've been working on these trash can enclosures to hide those sort of ugly trash cans that we have all have around our house. So stick around. I'm going to show you how me and a bunch of friends did it. Hi, my name is Bob, and I love my two-car garage. We're going to make this whole thing out of two by fours that are dry and this seven inch wide tongue and groove material. It's going to look nice. And we're going to cut our back pieces first because they're the longest. We're going to cut them 54 inches long. So we cut some two by twos right here for our back. And we're counter sticking the planks and using some inch and a quarter screws to screw those planks to our two by screws. These are gonna be the back of our enclosure. So our backs look like this. We got our TNG siding right here for the back. We put a two by two on the edge, on both edges. And then this two by two is gonna get screwed to our sides. So on our sides, we cut a little notch for the siding that's going to go in there. You don't really have to do it, but I think it looks better. All right, now because we're making actually six of these things, we set up a little jig here or a little fixture so it keeps everything square. That way you don't have to manually go back and keep squaring things up. I got my friends Bob and Mary here and they're finishing up the other sides of these sides. We have lefts and rights, so we have to make sure that we make a left side and a right side, otherwise we really messed up. Well, the top piece right here, we need to cut an angle on it and we added a piece up here at the top just to add some strength and so that the lid has a nice place to smash up again. And this is what our sides look like. We got lefts and rights because they have a little angle on them right here. TNG siding, two by fours on the side and across the top. So first we're going to screw the sides to the back. Across the front side here to hold this all together, we're just going to put a two by four. On the bottom side of each of these enclosures, we're going to put a piece of treated lumber because uh, it's going to get rough down there and we don't want it to get all mucky and buggy and stuff like that. And if you notice, right here along the door opening, we had to add an extra two by two to accommodate our hinges. These guys right here are building the doors. So this is what our finished door looks like. We got TNG on the front and then we need five pieces to make it work. And then we have we rip some TNG for the back. Just because it's better material, it's a little more bug resistant. And we we cut that for the back, screwed it together from the front. These are gonna be our doors. Along the bottom of the door right here, we're putting a little door stop so the door doesn't go too far. This is our finished lid. We notched a two by four. We have one on the front and the back. And then we screwed T and G to the bottom of that two by four. Only flaw in this design that I see is that when the rain comes, it's gonna catch right here. That's why we put a little gap right here. So our theory is the rain will run down here through that little hole and then down that way. At least that's our theory. So now we're gonna put some hinges on the back side. Now I'm gonna climb inside, put some screws in from the inside. So this chain should keep our door from tweaking out and I put a bolt and a nut down here to secure the chain and a block of wood and a lag screw with a washer on it up at the top to secure it up there. So it should be nice and 
strong. If you notice, all our hardware is this black decorative stuff, all the hinges and latches and such. This really looks better. Remember, the whole point of this is to make uh, something that's unsightly look nicer. So don't go cheap on the hinges. Get something nice and pretty. And right here, we kind of messed up because our screw uh, holes don't line up from door to door. And uh, so we made the hinges line up so it looks nice and even. Um, you know, sometimes you just kind of make mistakes. As the old saying goes, the first pancake is always a mess. Of course, this is a sixth pancake, so it should be perfect, but you know, we're learning as we go. One screw, pop and bottom, and then we we'll make adjustments if we need to. So to finish off the hardware, we put a slide bolt on one of the doors on the back side. On the front side, we put a gate latch. Along the bottom edge here, we put a little piece of one by material just to make it a little more critter proof. Now my least favorite thing about this design that we came up with is this edge right here looks kind of, I don't know, unfinished or something. So I'm gonna put a 45 degree angle there, 45 degree angle there just to give it a little more panache. Now we finally finished ours off with this water seal that has a little tent in it, kind of like a Thompson's water seal. And it looked really good for what we were doing. But you can finish this any way you want to. If you live in Cape Cod, you could paint it Cape Cod gray and white. Or if you live in California, you could paint it Cape Cod gray and white, whatever you want to. Just make it look good. Just don't paint the hinges because that would not look good. Well, that's how we did it. If you noticed, I had lots of friends helping me out. So if you got a project let, that, like this that you need to do, might get the neighbors to ha together and have a let's hide the ugly trash cans party. Anyhow, don't forget this proverb that says two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. So try to get somebody to help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe.